Hey, welcome everybody to week three. Uh, I just wanted to give you a quick overview and uh, congratulations for all the great work done so far in week two. This week I think we're uh, going to go strictly on mural to do most of our work. As you can see from the example, people uh, posting something short and then being able to comment and elaborate on many, many different topics at once seem a little bit easier in, in many ways than the more narrative approach that's happening over in Canvas. Although I really do appreciate everyone's work in posting in several places at once, I want to make sure that we all are able to focus and collaborate and help each other out, which I think you're doing a fantastic job. I appreciate that we had to pivot from using uh, Kimono uh, to using import IO, and I think that was a great uh, changeover. I do want to say, however, that scraping and finding data through looking at, at sites isn't mandatory. I wanted you to know how to do it. Just in case your data isn't working out perfectly, don't be afraid to pivot to another data set. I want, uh, I think the exploration, the journey in itself is what I wanted you guys to see that uh, this back-end data and this regularized information is what most sites are built out of. Uh, that being said, uh, something like Mashape is, is uh, a way or one particular way to find more reliable data and it really just takes signing up for it and searching to see if you can find anything interesting. So there's other data sources and I think you could even Google and ask for CSVs or downloads of data. Uh, it's just as data is given away more freely, it usually tends to be a little bit harder to work with. So this week we want to be able to turn in the data set and the um, form uh, to have created that data. So we talked a little bit about data types. This week you're going to explore that a little more in depth as you look for patterns among your data so that if you haven't taken a look at the JOT form or some of the data types here, please do. And uh, lastly, I think you got a feel for what it means to search through data by trying out Twitter, which is, of course, vast and, and uh, pretty unwieldy set of information. And you started the, the idea of, you know, is there a person that you could follow? Is there a hashtag or some way to be able to filter things out using natural language? This challenge is going to continue with us because usually making the data that we have useful, especially if it's user generated data, is extremely challenging. Uh, but don't worry about it. We'll, we'll get there soon enough. Right now we just need something to work with. So if we move over to this week. So if we go to the lecture right here, I really wanted to uh, start to teach you a little bit about design. And while this is not a design class, I, I think that most of the principles, the Gestalt principles that I'm talking about is how you organize and see patterns in data. So there's a movie here that I put together. There's a few blog posts that I wrote just about how do you see things as being similar? Uh, how do you group things together in your mind? So right at the moment, you've got a database and a table and it's organized in a way it's organized in a manner much like this. It's a long list of something. Or uh, even here, if you take a look at uh, the interface around tabular data. So you're looking at relationships and re repetition. So what I want to try to get started is the thought of how do you group your data together into meaningful clumps. And I think iTunes offers a good example of you may have seen your data in a manner much like this or like this, but we can manipulate those views as we move forward in, in trying to add uh, more meaning and markup to our, our data. So right now this is getting started with the idea of how do we discern patterns and within it we have a few helpers here. We've got some content organization patterns. This These particular links help you kind of look and say, well these are things that we've learned about how to organize things within a website uh, to allow for particular kinds of manipulation. So I want you to sort of familiarize yourself with those. I want you to think uh, right now, this is where we may want to pivot our data and do something different. So I'm, I'm looking for some help. How will someone use your data? I think I've looked through almost everyone's story and I think we've got a pretty good pattern of use. 
If we have patterns of use uh, that are similar, um, please help and collaborate with each other to make things more useful. Again, there's no real uh, benefit here of being a lone wolf. If you find a data set that you are interested that someone else found, maybe you guys can work together and help each other. So I think the, the esprit de corps is pretty high in this class. I'm really enjoying everyone contributing to everyone else's journey. So uh, I want to continue to keep that up. So don't worry that that, that certainly is, is perfect for me. Uh, to be able to help each other find and, and use this data. But I'm also looking for what, what what is somebody trying to use it for? And so if it is uh, things like comparison, uh, if it's something like um, uh, to do, you know, something like I want to I want to have a list that says I, I should do the first thing, I should watch the first thing, I should eat at the first place. When you see those goals, you can also match those over to the content organization patterns because those can sometimes help uh, give you a organizational pattern. And this is something for our next assignment that we're going to do. We're going to do markup, and then we're going to end up, you know, kind of adding more and more value to our data set. So uh, week three also has a little bit of a puzzle here. I'm going to, I've done this before live. Uh, this is just a two by two saying, uh, give me an example of a URL that has good content organization uh, strategy to it. And this is just an idea. Maybe we could put a post-it note with a URL or, or we could just toss our URL onto here and uh, get some idea of where we would put it. Like, uh, is it good or bad? Um, you can do any one you want. I just think it would be fun to be able to do this organization uh, in Mural. Uh, with a disconnected group such as ours. So this is an experiment. So all of our work is going to be this week in Mural and all the conversations and so forth. Hopefully everyone's feeling comfortable enough within this tool to do that. So all I'd like you to do at the end uh, when um, you're finished is to just put a, uh, a, a small note in, in the conversation uh, part of canvas to say that you did it uh, and trust me that's just only because of some mechanics behind the way um, things work in canvas so uh, I'm also planning on putting together a blue jean session uh, because I'm, some people may be still working or having difficulty with their assignment so I'm gonna schedule that uh, likely for Thursday uh, Wednesday or Thursday of this week uh, put uh, an hour or so in the calendar <coughs> and uh, let you guys um, ask me questions or help in any way that I can. So have a great week. And uh, again, want to say how much I'm enjoying all of your uh, participation and hope you're starting our journey out right with data. And now as we move forward, we're going to try to look to how to group and to organize that data. Thanks.